Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Debbie and I have a very small bag today from Timu. So I'm doing this on my desktop because I need the light. There's just been absolutely no natural light lately. It, every day has been overcast. But I've only got nine pieces and they're all for planning and paper crafting. So I'll just haul them out of here. So I had a few things that were already in my shopping cart. So I decided to add a few more things. So I had a little over the $20 limit and go ahead and order. So this is a funny looking little thing. And it was um, what do they call this? A sponge brush. And it was $1.36. So I didn't pay much for this. But on my list of things that I needed to pick up at Dollar Dollarama was a sanding sponge. And that's all this is. Actually, this is, this is very coarse. Way more gritty, I think, than the ones that I pick up at Dollarama. And they're gray. This one's brown not much difference. But when I do my decoupaging, I like to sand off my edges. This is, what is this? I went back and wrote down everything from my, I just wrote shamrock stickers for this. I think that's what these are. So let me see how I can get into them. Can't even find the little where you open it. Let me do this. Oh, because there's two bags, I think. Yeah, so it's a bag in a bag. That's why I couldn't figure out how to open it. So, <laughs> these are these stickers. A bag within a bag. So I should be able to open it now. So this is something that I have very little of. Is Oh my gosh. These look really nice. Like, these are really pretty. So let me see if I can find just a piece of white background paper. I'm going to grab my washi tape swatch book and put it down here so I can lay some of these out and show you what they look like. These are really pretty. So two of those. That looks like a real four-leaf clover. I mean, I could just go and pick that right out of the yard. Very pretty. Like that. And there's two of each. I'm only putting down one. This looks just like that, only a tiny bit smaller. It looks like it's got a little water droplet on it, if you can see that. That just, I mean, yeah, these just look like somebody took a close-up picture of them right out of the yard, some of these. And then just an ordinary clover, not a 40 clover. This looks like a shamrock as opposed to a clover. Yeah, these are really pretty, guys. Just really pretty. Oh, let's push these up a little bit so you can see this. There's a shamrock wreath. There's two of those. Very pale. A shamrock garland. And just a few more of these. So very nice. Um, March... I find that the only thing that I've been able to find that has to do with St. Patrick's Day is usually the kids' stickers uh, at Dollarama for me. You might be able to find some stuff at Dollar Tree, um, the uh, places that I don't have. But these were Shamrock stickers, $1.99. I picked up some Valentine stickers as well. I've never seen this kind of a, this feels like fabric on the back of this. Um, how does this open? It's got to open here. It does. Okay. So, boy, oh boy, would that, <laughs> I'm going to dump these out of here because I just want to say something about this packaging. This, I've never seen anything like this before. It's got almost like a fabric background. It feels like fabric like this. If there was any way that you could get these labels off here and clean this up, this snaps shut. It's like a Ziploc bag. It snaps shut really well. Would this ever 
be an amazing shaker pocket that you could put all kinds of little goodies in and just shake them around. Um, too bad you couldn't just buy these somewhere. So let's see what I have here. These Valentine stickers were $3.79. This looks like the pictures that are in my Valentine, the Love Ephemera book. Like that one there definitely looks like that. These are really sweet. They're a little bigger than what I thought they were. There aren't that many in here. And there's only one of each. Now, I'm pretty sure that this, this little picture right here is actually in that book. Not sure about this one or not. So, not very many. And they were $3.79. Why were they so expensive? Are they something special? Okay. So, the back is very thin on these. These are a heavy vinyl sticker. Yeah, so those those are a heavy vinyl sticker. So they'd be really cute going on uh, water bottles on your laptop. Plate, I gotta get this open again. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, not what I was expecting. But yeah, that's what they were. So then I got some Easter stickers. $2.21, but I think there's 50 stickers when I buy these packs. And these are exactly the same backing card in here that are in all the other ones. There's some eggs, some bunnies, baskets. This is exactly what I was expecting. Now, these are a vinyl sticker as well, not nearly as thick as those other ones, but... Just really pretty, uh, just adorable stickers. So I'm not going to, oh, there's a pretty cross. That, that's really pretty. So yeah, bunnies in the baskets are adorable. This Easter egg looks like it's covered in buttons. Um, <laughs> there's another cross, very pretty. So I'm just going to quickly go through these. Oh, look at the little lop. These little lop-eared bunnies are so cute. Another cross. Yeah, they're just really adorable. Some florals. Yeah, yeah, just mostly Easter-related things. So I picked up those. I like having these stickers because you end up with a little bit of variety. So I like that. And once again, like these are just a cut above what, what you'd be able to get at the dollar store as kids' stickers. So this is... Another 50-piece pack of stickers. What were these called? Mirror flowers or mirror florals. Sorry. And wouldn't these be pretty in your journals? Oh, gosh. On ATC cards, on all of your small pieces of paper crafting. Now these are really pretty guys. So this I can see that it's a mirror. It's a little harder with these backgrounds to tell that that's a mirror. So I think that's what they're supposed to be. An image, a floral image in a mirror. But they're really, just really pretty.
for some reason on this color here, it gives a little more depth. And with the edge of the mirror showing, you can tell that that's what it's supposed to be as a mirror. The other ones are just frames around flowers. Oh, I like that color combination. Yeah, I like these. I just, I like them. I like them. And they are $2.21. So I'll put these in here for now. Now I do take my stickers and put them into small uh, plastic containers with lids instead of keeping them like that because they're just easier. And 20 pieces. These are, they're upside down in the package. These were called Burnt, it's called Wildlife Garden Jungle Travel on here. And 20 pieces. So this must have been the one I chose because I remember there were multiple different sets that you could order. So these are called Burnt Edge Deco Papers. So they look like they're all they look like they've already been inked around the edges. So there's this one and there's two of those. This is really really thin. It's very smooth and soft but really thin. So there's two of those. Oh my gosh, look at the little fox. Isn't that adorable? And, of course, I picked this one, guys. I mean, there's bunnies. <laughs> uh, you guys know how much I love my bunnies. The deer. This deer. Look at the eyes. The eyelashes on that. That is gorgeous. What a pretty piece. I love this bunny as well. It is very pretty with these purple florals. And then... This one would make uh, a really nice Halloween card, actually. It's just a beautiful picture of a black cat. Just gorgeous. Another deer. Beautiful. Another bunny. Of course, there's two of each. Another fox. This isn't the same as the last one. No. Different. So another fox. Just gorgeous. Oh, this is my favorite one. This is exactly what my cat looked like when she was just a kitten. She's just a little tabby cat. This is so pretty. So these burnt edge papers were $2.79. Um, I think that they're well worth that. So I'll set them over there. I picked up some more of these. I got these before. What did I have them for? Um, I used these to make my, some of these to make my Christmas cards. But I absolutely loved them. So I ordered some more when I saw that these were the folded papers you know they like they look like they have a front and a back so you can fold them like this so so pretty but they're gorgeous and these ones were called uh victorian ladies and they were two dollars and 48 cents these are gorgeous so i'm just gonna go through and show you the ones that i got this is pretty it's a double image there and then the um the dress form this one's gorgeous i love this i love that boot a greenhouse type of picture and a victorian house Another shoe, uh, not a boot, but a shoe and a dress form. And another dress form. These are beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. 
Wow. I hope you were as awestruck by these prints as I was because these are gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And they were $2.48. So I have this set here. These are like postcards. They are about four inches, not quite, by about five and a half inches. So not the standard size of a four by six postcard, but pretty darn close. And they're that kind of postcard material. They're very um, firm cardstock so the cute bunnies dressed up in their outfits these are absolutely adorable absolutely adorable oh my gosh and the mice all dressed up the teddy bears holding the roses this one is really sweet I love the mint green and pink colors in their clothes are these shelties is that what they're called? They're like, they look like little miniature Coley dogs. They're just so cute. Just so cute. So those ones on the hedgehogs, so sweet. The squirrels are adorable as well. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the raccoons. Now there's an animal that you don't see in these types of prints that often, but that is sweet. The cute little foxes. These butterflies and roses are pretty. Look at the kittens with their little collars. Just sweet. And of course, puppies. That is, a, ugh, I mean, I can say adorable. Only so, only so many times, right? And the mice dressed up in their little jackets and their little, their, these, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, what can you say? What can you say? Animals in clothes? Yeah, doesn't get any cuter than that. And then there's stickers. Uh, some of these stickers are miniatures of these prints that are on here. This one isn't in there. This this one isn't in there. Oh my goodness. Look at the little corgis. Those stickers are cute. So some more cute stickers. So four sheets. Yeah, four sheets of stickers with eight on each one. So 32 stickers and how many of these were there? One, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. A dozen, a, a dozen nice cards and a bunch of stickers. So very, very sweet. And these ones, but these were a little pricier because these are like a postcard. So these were $4.44. And this one here is the paper. Uh, I went back to see how much I paid for this to see what the price was. And it just says sold out. But I'm going to show you what I got. There was only two or three of these left when I ordered it. So I was really happy with that. And this says Bloody Mary. Six by six paper pad. Twelve different designs. Two sheets each. 160 GSM heavyweight cardstock. Acid and lignin free. And oh, well, I guess we just have to turn them over. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it doesn't feel like that heavy a paper. Yeah, I guess it does, actually. So it's not quite a cardstock. It's just a heavyweight paper. So two of this print, and these should all just be red and neutral florals. Of course, two of those. Two of those. Two of those. My hands are so dry. Two of those. Isn't that pretty? Just the shades of red in this one with this light bits on it. So pretty. Two of those. Of 
and these ones. So I know that this one is sold out. And it was just, I ordered it because it was just all of these red florals. And red isn't something that I have a lot of in my paper stash. So I got these. But I'm thinking about going back now and looking and seeing if they have six by six paper pads like this that are in different colors. Like I'd like to get yellow flowers and purple flowers and blue flowers and it, it would be just so nice to have a set of floral papers in each of the different colors because I love florals and sometimes you just can't find them in the color shades that you're looking. So that's my Timu haul for today. All right on to the Dollarama part of this all. So I picked a few things up. Not a ton. I needed a few things for the house. Of course you always go in for a few things for the house, but you don't always come out with just a few things for the house. So I needed bleach and of course I got a nice big jug. This one is just the North Bright brand. I I find that they don't always have the same brands in there. So this one is North Bright. It is 2.4 liters, so it's a nice good sized jug. I also opened up my last bottle of Dawn dishwashing detergent. And this is the size that I like to buy there. This is $2.50, I believe. Let me check. This has gone up, guys. This is $3 at Dollarama. So $3 at Dollarama, but I picked up two of them because this is the Platinum and it is the Ultra Concentrate and it only takes a tiny bit. So I picked up this. I also picked up two cake mixes. When I can, I buy my cake mixes at Dollarama because they are only... $1.75 there, much cheaper than the grocery store. I use the Betty Crocker brand anyway, and so I picked up two of these. I picked up two cans of my kombucha. This time I picked up a ginger lemon, two of them. I've got our receipt right here. These are $2 a can, but these are 330 milliliter cans, and when you put two of these together they're four dollars and they're slightly more than in the bottle that I buy at the grocery store and the bottle at the grocery store is five dollars so it's cheaper to buy the kombucha at the Dollarama and yes this is the same brand the same brand at the grocery store these are 250 at Dollarama but they are Chester's favorite all-time treat. And just recently, I have a hard time getting Chester to eat. And just recently, I figured out that if I crush a few of these and sprinkle them over top of his kibble, he'll just eat. Um, that's how much he likes this. So, yeah. This is what you get. You can get an extremely larger bag from the pet store exactly the same brand and it's very expensive at the pet store but these are I don't know if you can see in the bag but these are teeny tiny little cubes he's a chihuahua and the ones in the bigger bag at the pet store that you get are really large size chunks so he loves these little tiny bites when it's a snack I saw this headband for $2.50. They're putting out the St. Patrick's Day stuff already. And immediately when I saw this, I knew what I was going to do with it. And it's not this. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I have a project in mind for this and I am excited to share it. So $2.50. This is also stuffed. This is not hollow, so it keeps its shape. And I found this bamboo storage bin in the kitchen section. And it looks like this. But look how big this is. It was $4.75. But it holds over a dozen 
of the reusable coffee pods that I'm using for my Keurig right now and I picked up two of them. I've already opened this one to give you a better look at it, but it has on the bottom, it has a little ridge here. And when you put this one on top of this one, they say stackable, but they really do stack because they link together because of that little ridge, which is really, really nice. So I have, I'm not going to call it a DIY because I'm just going to reconfigure these a little bit and show you how I'm going to use them on my coffee bar. Everybody goes down the aisle in Dollarama that has the tea towels, those pillowcases, the tablecloths, those things at Dollarama. I mean, if you're like me, you can't help but go and look. And I found one there this time that I've never seen there before. I got this pattern of a table runner, and it's in this beautiful sage green buffalo check. Look how gorgeous this is. And I don't have a single green runner for my coffee bar. So I've always had to make do with something else uh, in March. I always do St. Patrick's on my coffee bar for March. And now I have a green table runner for there. I'm excited. So this was, didn't even have a price on it in the store. But I knew it wasn't going to be over $5. So, and it was, it was $5. And it's well worth it. This one is 90 inches long and 13 inches wide. So a nice long runner. So that's all of my haul for Friday. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite item was that I hauled this week and where you're watching from. And I'll see everybody in the next video. But before you go, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to do that now before you leave so you can come back and see what I'm up to next. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.